features is universal inbox. So I guess the um, new message flags went away, but uh, you can see they're all lined up here. So instead of having to go up a few levels and back down to the inbox, um, you can see it's all available there from a top level. So universal inbox and just an inbox view for the different accounts as well then? Uh, yep. Yep, so it's slightly reorganized for iOS 4. Um, I don't know if they have the new screen will, look, will show up in your video, but um, you probably saw that all the icons look really nice. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, detail in the icons and in the um, background linen there. Um, this is also showing folders, which is a new feature. Um, if you want to set one up, you can go like that and then drag an icon onto another one. That makes one called it travel. That's clever and you can dump more stuff in or take stuff back out. Uh, like Steve showed in the keynote, you can also put a folder down into the bottom bar here. Where's FaceTime? Get rid of that. Well, that's uh, these phones, actually, if you want to get a really good shot of FaceTime. That guy down there. And then wherever you go, you can have a, a quick access to, you know, some key apps that you want quick access to. Uh, what else we have? iBooks. That's new. The um, iBooks for iPhone. So there's the books you can have downloaded. Um, a new feature of iBooks on iPad 2 is you can go to find bookmarks or highlighted areas that you've set. So here's a. Um, a highlight that I made earlier today, you can see that you can uh, highlight that and then go back to it. And here's a note where you can highlight some text and then put a note on it. Uh, and you can also set a bookmark for any page you want to get to. Uh, if you want to bookmark this page, you can go like that. And then if you get back out to here, oops. So then the bookmark will show up under this bookmark. And um, if you have uh, the bookstore set up on multiple devices, you can it'll sync between all your devices, bookmarks and notes and, um, and highlights. Uh, and another new feature here is that we support PDFs in the bookshelf here. Yeah. And some of these look really nice. Right, but that's going to be more of a user. We get some menus here. Uh, state of seafood. So that's a new feature. What else we got? Oh, I'll show you multitasking. How about that? Um, so somewhere on here we have Pandora. Did I miss it? <laughs> There's Pandora. Okay, so before, you could be playing a uh, radio station, and when you got out of it, um, the music would stop playing. But now with multitasking, we can do a double click down here, and um, here's the interface for multitasking. You can quit out, and the music will keep playing in the background, and you can do something else. Um, fire up to do. And if you want to get back to here, you can scroll over, and here's music controls off to the left side. You can stop it. I don't know if you can hear this on your video, but it's loud in here. Oh, okay. So you can start it to stop it that way. And so this will be the controls for any kind of audio that happens to be going on. So it would work for our iTunes or iPod as yep. well? Yep. Yep. And, um... Oh, there's... You know, the iPod, iPad has a physical switch for locking the to a portrait or landscape that says, here's how you get to that on this. Hardware-wise, what is this at the top right here, the little gray 
or right here, right above the ear speaker. Oh, I think, is that on the proximity sensor? Yeah, no, the proximity sensor is... Let's try it here. Who is Christian Bauer? Yeah, proximity sensor. So it makes it the screen turn off when you put it up your face. That one's hard to see on the black one because it uh, kind of disappears. And so we've got a front and rear camera. You can take a picture this away or use this icon here to switch to the other one. You can see yourself below. Um, if we go this way, you can press this button to turn on, have the flash be on auto. Oh, pay attention. Oh. All right, wrap it up. Uh, and you can turn on the flash this way too. Oops, where'd it go? I took a picture instead. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's good. All right, so that's some of the new stuff. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm, uh...